What is up everyone, this is BNY and welcome back to my channel once again. Today's tutorial will be on how to liquid pool stick over at Crodex and as usual, we will open our CDC DeFi wallet app, head over to Debs, followed by Kronos Debs, scroll down to look for Crodex and click into it. And now, the first thing we have to do is to add liquidity to the pool. So we will click on the 3 dash icon at the top left hand corner, click on pool and add liquidity. For this tutorial, I'm going to do LP stick for stable coins such as USDT and USDC. So I'll be making sure to select both of these coins on the boxes below and click on max at the coin of the lesser value so that the system can help me auto-generate everything. Next, we'll click on supply, confirm supply and pay for the gas fee. Wait for a while and you will now have your LP tokens. Next step, we'll head to rewards. Click on the drop down to look for LP stick. As you can see, there are many different types of liquidity pool you can commit, so make sure to read on impermanent loss to do your own research before you start. Now, let me click on USDT to USDC, which are the tokens I committed. It will show the total deposits, pool rates, and also APR. Since stablecoin LP is relatively lower risk, you can see the APR is lesser. And once ready, click on deposit, I click on max, approve the transaction, pay for the gas fee, and after that, pay another gas fee for the deposit. And here you go, the transaction will be processed and your liquidity deposit will be updated. Below, you will show your unclaimed CRX which are your earnings. You can click claim to withdraw it into your wallet whenever you want. And lastly, you can also withdraw and claim everything and do take note, once you withdraw, your stable coins will still be in the form of LP tokens. So what you should do is to go back to the pool manage your tokens click on remove select the amount that you want to withdraw and basically just click on approve to pay for the gas fee and then remove again to pay another gas fee and your coins will then be back to your wallet so yeah this is the end of the tutorial i hope it helps you to navigate around codex and if you are still unclear please feel free to reach out to the team and we will help you and lastly to emphasize this is not a financial advice and please do your own research stay safe and i will see you in the next one